I'll give you a little bit of a background. Uh, I think Tony mentioned most of it, but we were uh, around the corner of a restaurant when we had this discussion. And we wanted, we had, we've written a show called uh, On the Right Track, and we wanted a place to play it. You know, you couldn't, we couldn't get a theater, and it was in the middle of the pandemic. Any, you know, how many people out there think that anybody that builds a theater during the pandemic has got to be an idiot? Yeah. We, we thought that too, but we went ahead with it anyway. <laughs> anyway, so, so uh, we decided if we can't find a theater to play it, let's build one. And little by little, as Tony said, we had, and eventually found this space, which I like because it, I can say to people, where well, I'm on Broadway. Not really on Broadway. I'm on 45th Street. But right up the street is the uh, uh, Moulin Rouge. So it's right in the same street as the Moulin Rouge. So we're really on Broadway. Nobody <laughs> believes me, so I changed it to the theater district. <laughs> <laughs> More honest. So uh, there are three reasons why I'll give you my own words, even though Tony's said it more articulately. Uh, one is a place to play our shows. Uh, Unbalanced Mind, you're going to see three songs. And if you really like the songs, applaud live, loudly because the songwriter would appreciate it. <laughs> uh, this, the, that was one reason. The second reason was it's really not a bad investment. Uh, we didn't know that going in, uh, but we found that we've rented the theater out for until the end of the year, and it's not cheap to have a theater in New York. So it gave us a sense that without any advertising or promotion, we were able to rent out the theater until uh, till January, and there may be more coming after that. And anytime we want to do one of our own shows, we can just put a hole on it do our show and, and then go back to renting it out. And the third reason, I think in some ways the most important reason, is that theater was at one time the only place for entertainment that you can spend a buck, uh, since I guess Shakespeare, through the early part of the 20th century, the only entertainment you got was live theater. Then came movies, silly movies, 16 millimeter, then uh, radio, television, and now streaming services. So we noticed that during our show, there are no kids. I mean, they, they're adults and they're very appreciative audiences, but there aren't any kids. And we said, if theater's gonna live, it's gonna appeal to kids. Kids have to know that when they come to a show and see people singing and dancing, <coughs> They turn to their mother or father and say, I want to do that. 